and we have seen a example for type def right so up to here everything is clear right so i hope it is clear about the type def example also it is clear right now so now let's see this uh, type def uh, with structure okay so we'll see this type def with structure how this type def uh, will be used with this structure how can we use this and why we are going to use this type def so we will see one uh, simple example and we'll try to understand this okay so let's take a module uh, tb and let's def uh, define a structure in this module let's say struct Wait a minute, let me check whether I have turned on the recording. Yeah. So, struct. Uh, in this struct, I will define some strings. Let's say string uh, vegetable. And we have int count. these two fields I have in my structure and the pointer for my structure or the instance is uh, let's say ht underscore name okay this is my uh, instance of my structure so is this structure creation clear right I'm not using the type def okay so remember this uh, I'm not using any type def next we will see the second case so I will write the uh, two two of them parallelly without type def and with type def I will write them parallelly. So module tb type def shrug string vegetable and what you call it string vegetable and int count. HT underscore name okay so in the second case I have used the type def and in the first case I have not used the uh, type def okay so first we will discuss with the first case so what I will do within initial begin block initial begin I will uh, assign the value of uh, I will assign the uh, value of my vegetable okay so what i will do is with the help of my uh, instance name ht underscore name dot vegetable i can give any name okay some random name i will give let's say carrot next how to give the value of count using the instance name right ht underscore name dot count is equal to 2 okay so end this okay if you will display if you will display using the dollar display statement what is the value of uh, vegetable you will be get you will be getting and what is the value of count you will be getting carrot and 2 right is it clear So is it clear how I am giving the values of vegetable and count? Is it clear? How I am giving the value of vegetable and the count? Is it clear? Is my voice audible? Yeah, I hope it is clear. Let's say for this structure, if I have two instances, one instance is ht underscore name and other instance, let's say it is ht underscore name underscore two. 
this is my second instance so i'm still dealing with the first case so for this uh, in this first case for this structure i have ht underscore name as one instance and ht underscore name underscore one as second instance okay these are my two instances for my structure okay so with the help of first structure i have uh, given the values of vegetable and the count and i am displaying it next with the second instance again i will change the field values vegetable let's say now i will give some potato okay and ht underscore name underscore one dot count is equal to five okay now this to make the code uh, shorter and simpler and easier right so i hope this example is clear so if you are having any doubt you can ask okay i hope everything is clear now let's start with enum data types so in system log enum short for enumerated data types are used to define a variable that can take one of the predefined set of named values okay here in case of enum we can have only named values okay so in system log enum for short term of enumerated data types are used to define a variable that can take one of a predefined set of this is also a very important keyword predefined set of predefined set of named values so enum what what is it is so we can only have a predefined set of named values only a predefined set of named values so this is especially useful for improving code reliability and reducing the chances of error as it allows use of meaningful names instead of numerical constants we cannot use numerical constants so let's see what is this enum so before that we'll uh, see the key features of enum data type so basically the key features are named values so, so you can define a set of names that represent specific constants constant values making the code easier to understand and automatic value assignment so by default enum values are assigned to integers and custom value assignment so we will see all these key features and type safety is also achievable okay so first we will see the syntax coming to the syntax of enum so you can use a type def with enum or you can just use a enum okay so first we will discuss the second case and we will come back to the first case okay so in the second case we have uh, we have declared the enum so the syntax for enum is enum followed by curly braces followed by value 1 value 2 value 3 so on followed by variable name what is the type of uh, just give some variable name okay so this value 1 value 2 value 3 so on should be named constants only okay named constants okay next let's see an example here let's say if we want to uh, create an enum let's say we will write enum followed by you can give any named constants let's say i am giving in this case idle run and stop and the variable name is state underscore t this is a variable name right so what happens is this is the variable of enum data type state underscore t is a variable i will write it here so state underscore t is a variable of enum data type okay so basically state underscore t is a variable of enum data So with this enum, uh, with this very uh, state underscore t, what you can do is, if I want to, if I want to assign any value to this state underscore t, let's say state underscore t is equal to zero, then what happens? I will get a compilation error. I will get a compilation error. Why? Because the constant which I have declared in this enum are idle, run, and stop. So only these values can be assigned to my state underscore t. Other than these values, I cannot assign the values to this 
state underscore t okay so only this values idle run and stop only this values can be assigned to my state underscore t other than this i cannot assign so if i try to assign state underscore t is equal to run then it will accept it okay so other than this uh, values which are present which are declared here that cannot be assigned to my state underscore t okay so that is here uh, written so type safety enum data types are strongly typed meaning that only the defined values can be assigned to the variables of enum type here that is written here so it is also called it is called as type safety so enum data types are strongly strongly typed meaning that only the defined values can be assigned to the variables of enum types and one more thing is we have already seen this named values you can define a set of names that represent specific constant values making the code easier to understand so represent specific constant values we will see what is this specific constant values with our example so let's say we have declared our example right enum idle run talk, stop okay so this idle will have a constant value 0 and stop, run will have a constant value 1 and this stop will have a constant value 2 so that is the meaning of that so every named constant will have a specific number associated with it idle will have 0 run will have 1 so it will increment so first uh, constant will have 0 followed by 1 followed by 2 so like this every constant value will have a specific number so every name so every set of names that represent specific constant value making the code easier to understand and it also automatic value assignment by default enum values are assigned to integer values starting from 0 and each successive item increases by 1 that, that's what we have seen right so each enum value will have a specific integer value will have a specific integer value incremented by 1 so the first enum value will have 0 followed by 1 followed by so each enum value will have a specific integer value and custom value assignment you can assign specific values to each enum value item if needed so say suppose if you don't want the integer value 0 to this constant uh, name constant idle let's say you want idle should be 3 then how to do that so you can simply do enum idle equal to 3 and what's next run and stop run stop followed by state underscore t right so what is the uh, integer value which is associated associated with this enum value idle will be equal to 3 so instead of starting with 0 this idle uh, will start with 3 next what is the value of run can anyone answer one okay others yes so the value of run will be equal to 4 okay so basically if you make any modifications to this uh, integer value so if you make it as 3 then the next value will also be updated so it will be incremented by 1 so it will be run will be equal to 4 and stop will be equal to Five. Yeah. So like this, it will be updated. Okay. So if you make any uh, modifications in the integer value, then uh, other other values will be updated. Let's say suppose if idle is equal to three uh, and run is equal to seven, then stop will be equal to eight. Okay. So like this, the enum values or enum integers will uh, sorry. The integer values associated with the enum uh, values will be changed okay now let's say suppose if you want to access the um, okay. enum idle start and stop state underscore t now so i will store this um, 
let's say I will store it in an integer var underscore one. Okay, so var underscore one will be equal to state underscore t dot first. Okay, so what will be the value of state underscore t dot first? So first here indicates that the first element in this enum. Okay. So this is the first element. So my output will be equal to idle. Is it clear? Yeah. Now there are some built-in functions in this enum. So we will see one by one. So this is some example where we are modifying the values. And this is uh, accessing the values. So enum and type safety system where log enums are strongly typed, meaning only the values defined in the enum can be assigned to a variable of that enum type. This prevents accidental assignments to invalid values. And yeah, so if we try to assign the current state value three illegal, only idle run and stop can be assigned. So some of, uh, let's see the built-in methods in this enum. So there are some built-in methods. So we can use first, which will retain the first element in the enum and last which will retain the last element followed by next which will retain the next element which we have mentioned that say suppose if we use uh, fsm uh, uh, sorry state underscore t uh, dot next so if it is in the second element it will retain the third element like that it will return and we have also previous and we have next of n so we can mention which element we want and followed by previous of n so these are the built-in functions which are present in enum data types right so this is about uh, enumerated data types in system verlog and we have also discussed uh, the type diff with enumerated data uh, sorry with the structures in the system verlog so i want you to once try this uh, type def with enum data type so let uh, so see how it is working so use type def with enum data type and check it how it is working okay so this is a small assignment so you can work it on you you can work on it okay so that's all for this session so if you are having any doubts or queries you can stay and ask or else we can end the session thank you